Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sync controls on your TouchOSC device to Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. When using a MIDI controller in Tractor Pro 2 or any other DJ software application, it's always better to adjust the controls on your controller as opposed to in the software using your mouse. This is due to the fact that there's a disconnect between the physical controls on your MIDI controller and the virtual controls that you find in the software. So for example, if I move the FX Unit 1 dry-wet knob in Tractor Pro 2, the physical knob on a controller like the Control X1 will not move when I make that change. Thankfully, TouchOSC controls are also virtual, so they can be synced to the changes that are made in the software. To achieve this effect, we're going to be using MIDI out commands. Now when you're dealing with MIDI controllers in Tractor Pro 2, you want to make sure that you open up the preferences and then go to the controller manager tab. Right now I have the generic MIDI device that connects via touch OSC bridge selected in the device drop down menu. Because we're going to be mapping MIDI out commands as well as MIDI in commands, you're going to want to make sure that your out port is set to touch OSC bridge. You can change this by simply clicking on the drop down menu underneath out port and then selecting touch OSC bridge. Before we can map a MIDI out command, we need to map a MIDI in command that will go with it. So we're going to go ahead and click on the add in button, then we'll go to FX unit, then we'll go to dry wet adjust. Click on the learn button and then we will tap on the fader on our touch OSC device. We'll unclick the learn button and then we'll leave the type of controller set to fader knob and the interaction type set to direct. Now we can go ahead and map the MIDI out command. Thankfully, Tractor Pro 2 makes it really easy to map the MIDI out equivalent of a MIDI in command that you've already mapped. So we're going to want to make sure that we have our dry wet adjust selected. Then we're going to click on add out. You'll notice here that above the list of menus, we have the option for dry wet adjust FX unit. So we'll click on that and you'll see that we don't actually have to learn the command again because it already grabs that from the command that we already mapped. Now if I go ahead and move this knob in the software, you'll see that the change is reflected on the touch OSC device. This not only applies to knobs, but it also applies to faders and buttons. Of course, it'll take you some more time when you're doing your MIDI mapping, but at the end of the day, it's better that you have all of your software controls synced to the controls on your touch OSC device. If you like this Tractor Pro 2 video and you want to learn more about TouchOSC, watch our other videos at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or at the DJ Thanks for watching.